and probably like some severance pay and all that. So she is just um, trailblazing. She continues to build, she continues to invent. Um, you can definitely just uh, type her name in on YouTube and see everything she's a part of. Uh, outstanding, brilliant sister. So yeah, she has accolades upon accolades upon accolades in the technological field. So that was just two that I want to share with you. And then here we go, rocking and rolling. So, you know, like I said, um, when I promote the black owned businesses, they have a running theme. And the running theme for uh, this month is Black History Month, originally Negro History Week. Um, later on, evolved into Black History Month. Um, the inorganic roots of it is that it was celebrated on uh, college campuses from January 26th all the way throughout the entire month of February. But for some odd reason, um, they decided to just give us February. But, you know, I think these days everybody's putting their own spin on it. Some people in some states honor it, do the kickoff from uh, January 26th all the way until the end of February. Um, some people started like February and go all the way to the second week of March. It just depends on what state you're in. So, you know. Uh, it's an honor and a slap in the face at the same time, if that makes sense, because it's like everything we contributed to this country and everything we've contributed to the world, like you can't like relegate us to a day, a week or a month. It's just we we're, we're just we should just be history like we should be in world history books as well as American history books. Um, but, you know, hey, it's always fun to learn about us. Um, we're the most interesting people on the planet. Argue with me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, on to the black owned businesses. So, the thing, like I said, for this month is Black History Month. And, um, I was thinking of some black-owned businesses to kind of uh, reflect that. So one of the best ways that you can um, express a sentiment about what you're thinking is by what you're wearing. And the next couple, uh, or these two, I only got two today. These two com uh, companies specialize in that. Um, so all their merchandise is, you know, black facts or, you know, something of historical significance or cultural significance or and, um, self-identification for, for um, black people. And the first business is called VisiblyBlack.com. Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for a, a play on words. It's um, founded out in uh, Detroit, Michigan. And that's all the data I could pull up on it. It didn't give the exact address in Detroit. It just says, it's, you know, the headquarters is in Detroit. Um, Visiblyblack.com. Because it's apparel, so it's on the outside, and it's, it's a visual, you know, representation of your blackness. They got all kinds of stuff, um, um, quotes, sayings. They got, you know, historical black figures, um, you know, melanated, tons of melanated stuff. Uh, 
definitely worth go to go um, check that out. And then the next um, black owned business is uh, melaninapparel.com. So, you know, they got like, you know, the conscious woke stuff. And that's it. That's like the shortest uh, black owned business um, plugs that I've ever done on this podcast. But I think I did jump ahead of myself. I forgot to extend the olive branch. If you are or know of any black owned businesses that need some free promotion, hit me up at passionwebmail at poeticpassion.host and just put in promotion in the subject bar and I gladly promote that for you. Um, excuse me. Uh, next, I'm hosting a chew on this contest. I would like to know if you've ever experienced um, or if you ever had a shopping while black experience. And if you're black, I shouldn't have to explain it, but I will explain it just for the sake of argument. Um, have you ever been had, you know, some poor customer service? Have you ever been followed around as if you was going to steal something? Um, or just, you know, plain old, they didn't want you in the store. Or just plain old, just tell, tell you uh, we're closed or we just, we don't want you in here. We don't want to serve you. I would like to know. And then for that, I will reward you with a bulk supply of your favorite snack. And I will be supplying said snack from a black owned vendor. So I find a black owned vendor online. So you tell me what your snack is. So be specific, flavor, type, you know, brand, da 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 And then your mailing address, of course, so I know where to send it to. And tell me your shopping wild black experience. Try to keep it under two paragraphs. No, no longer than three. Like, don't make it into a novel. Just, you know, tell me what you want to tell me. And um, again, to enter the... Uh, you on this contest just um same uh email address for the uh black owned businesses but um in the subject bar put chew on this slash shopping wild black and then put your um share your story in the body of the email your mailing address and you know your favorite snack, like, you know, type, brand, whatever, flavor, and I get that to you. And if totally free of charge, you don't got to uh, pay me nothing. It's not a scam, it's just, um, you know, it's a supply and demand type thing. And so it's like, you know, completing the circle. You're patronizing my business, which is a podcast. I will be uh, patronizing a black-owned vendor to supply you your snack, which is a business. And then, um, you know, everybody gets something. So it's all quid pro quo, completing the circle, unity, you know what I mean? All righty, righty. It's going to be kind of a short one today. So today, I said, I said, I do have two spotlights, and you will find out why. So today's spotlight is on 
the amazing, the talented, the very beautiful, the very married, Alisa Keys. Born Alisa Aguilo Cook. She's a, a classically uh, trained pianist. Was signed at 15 years old to Columbia Records. Um, then hit the A minor with J Records in 2001. And as the rest, and as they say, the rest is history. She's been in movies. Um, you know. Early life, she was born in uh, Hell's Kitchen in New York. So she is a diehard native New Yorker through and through. Um, and she reps it every chance she gets. You know, they you know always call on her for any type of New York anthem. Um, to be a uh, R&B singer, she's very gritty. And then, you know, of course, in her earlier life, she uh, has, you know, appeared on The Cosby Show. Um, I selected her for the spotlight because she's a very positive person. Um, she always has she, good energy, a good attitude, um, a good you know, outlook on life. Um, she's actively involved in charities to keep the child alive. She's been a spokesperson, uh, excuse me, spokesperson for the From the Ground Up organization, Boys and Girls Club. Um, the list goes on, so. She's like a very selfless person. She gives of gives us gives of herself. Um, she emphatically loves what she does. She's a music musician, and she loves music. Uh, I think she loves to entertain people. Um, you know, that's her gift in life is music, and she just like she exudes music, like you know. She got a passion for what she does, and um, you know, prime example of uh, someone that uh, walks in love. You know, you never heard Alicia Keys uh, spewing any type of hatred, or um, you know, never been involved in uh, no rumor mills, mean catty stuff. Always conducting herself like a lady. Um, natural beauty so you know i know she probably got got a little streak in her got because she got that new york edge, edge to her probably perfect by no means but uh you know nice vibe nice lady there might be more to her underneath the surface she might got some like don't go there <laughs> in some areas, but uh, for what we see in public, you know, for what she's known for is positivity. And I want to give her her flowers while she's here because I don't believe she gets enough praise and accolades. And um, I don't believe we appreciate her enough as an entertainer and as a musician. So, you know, that's why I wanted to give her the spotlight today. So clap it up for Alicia Keys. And remember, I said I had two guests and you're about to find out why. That actually was a perfect segue to the next guest because the next guest has a musical background as well, but he got an even bigger thing that supersedes the music. <laughs> 